Charlotte, you know where we are? Chelsea. That's right, we're in the Chelsea Art District. 23rd Street, 10th Avenue, that's the nexus of West Chelsea. And right behind us is the High Line. You see all those silly fools walking up there? Let's go check out the last of the New York Spring Gallery season, shall we? Yes. Now we're on 20th Street, and you know what gallery that is, Charlotte? Anton Kern Gallery. Correct. And we're going to see the Nicole Eisenman show. She's a very happening, figurative, realist painter who has a mid-career survey at the new museum right now. Should we take a look? Yeah. <laughs> so these are the paintings. They're representational, kind of done in a somewhat kind of like flat cartoon style. Um, most of them have these kind of vignettes of contemporary life. We're gonna take a look at some of them. So I'm gonna to try to end up with this one over here. That's it. So Charlotte, what are we looking at? You were saying this is Yeah, this looks a lot like me in yeah. my room. Looks like a, a man watching Netflix on his computer. But wait, I thought it was a person looking at another person looking back at them. Oh. The person was lying on a bed and they were having some kind of intimate conversation with each other through like yeah. the medium of, of the computer. I see that. You see that? It's like Skype. Yeah, rather. like some kind of like dating scenario where intimacy is only achieved through technology. Okay, Charles, so in this one it's two traditional lovers, but they're both female presumably. Now behind them there's what a, a projection? Yeah, the computer. You were Again, saying it's, the technology. it's it's done in like super detail, right? Yeah, it's really good. Really good representation. <laughs> so why do, what do you think the, the the narrative message is? They that's like the starry night sky above them? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's just kind of like the modern relationship. Yes. Now, now this is very familiar to both of us. It's it's waiting for the G train, something yes. that you and I spend at least 15 minutes a day doing. And what else is in that painting, Charlotte? A man on his phone waiting for the train. A phone gazer, yeah. yes. That's, that's relatable. Relatable. <laughs> and what else about the way it's done? I mean, you see the eye is this like super exaggerated kind of uh, emoji-like icon. So yeah. Eisenman, you know, distorts reality. She's given us this kind of radical foreground of this exaggerated perspective as the train comes toward you as well. You said this one's kind of a little yes. big to get in the frame. It's yeah, like a okay. big... Yeah, uh, okay, so you see up there, you know, yeah. continues all the way down. And it's there. like a party picture where everybody's like piled up. You said it's like a Packer party? Yeah. Uh, Packer is a... <laughs> uh, private school party, mm -hmm. yeah. I noticed they're playing albums, something people my age do. No, but Brian see, now Eno. people my age do that. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're listening to Eno's Another Green World. Okay, so uh, the situation is this woman is on a train or a bus. I'm thinking she's an adjunct professor who teaches at Bennington. She's on her way back to New York. And that's what kind of a, that's good. I believe that. What kind of computer is that? It's a MacBook. Uh, you've got the same computer, right? Yeah, but she probably has an Air. She's the type. Now, next to her, what is that? It's a cat in a bag, a travel bag. Okay. So what is that? It means that she travels with her... With her cat. Now, there's another of these emoji eye people. So there's the internal view of the computer versus the external view out the window. And again, you've got this exaggerated, frontalized perspective. It's a kind of non-traditional way of making a traditional representational painting. And? And I think you're right. <laughs> All right.